Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest won our hearts on The Cosby Show, but she is all grown up now. Please welcome new mom, Keisha Knight Pullum. Yeah! Yes! 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 Come on, ma'am! Looking good. Thank you. Be <laughs> careful, baby. Hello, darling. Mwah. Hey, gorgeous. Hello. Good to see you. Mwah. You have, have a seat, seat right yes. here. Thank you. Yes. Ah. Looking real grown. Looking real grown. <laughs> You've been grown for a while now. I know, yes, right? I know, I know, I know. <laughs> so the holidays are coming up. Yes. Do you, I know you cook and all those things. What do Absolutely. you have planned? Oh, I am going to eat so good. Yes. Are you going to eat good, girl? Oh, my goodness, yes. It's We have a really big family, mm -hmm. and it's all about family and getting together, and that's what the holidays mm -hmm. are about. Yeah. Um, actually, yesterday, we just did our no reservations need at dinner. Saw that on Instagram? Yes, where we fed hundreds of men at the Atlanta Mission mm -hmm. and my nonprofit, the Camp Kizzy. Shout out to Shanti Doss. She's who amazing. That. For the last four years in the Camp Kizzy Foundation, we're feeding families as well. We have baskets to donate and to deliver today nice. when I leave here, but we're going to have a great time at Nana's. Good. At Nana's, at right? Nana's. At Nana's. Grandma Nana's. Grandma Nana's. Never too old for Nana. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we know that you are a new mom and you have really embraced this. Tell us about your journey. I absolutely love being a mom. Mm -hmm. I must say it is the greatest gift, the greatest job mm -hmm. that I've ever received. And I love my little Ella so, so much. Beautiful. That's my little right hand woman right there. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. Now you understand your mother's love for yeah. you. Do you know it's so crazy? I asked my mom because there are four of us. I'm the oldest of four. I said, This is why you kept having kids. Right? <laughs> because I could imagine as she gets bigger, like wanting that feeling yeah. of yeah. her being so squishy and lovey and just clinging to you. Yeah. So. Clearly. Beautiful. I, I don't have any children, so I can't relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> just yet. Just not yet. yet, but I might buy some children. I can't. Hey, <laughs> I'm not mad at you. Right. Well, by any means necessary, Absolutely. if you decide to adopt, I've all always wanted to adopt children. Mm -hmm. So I say, you know, there's no right path to motherhood. Absolutely. You have to own and embrace whatever yours is. Right. Wow. It's been 33 years since Bill Cosby, or The Cosby Show. Yes. So tell me, like, what is your pet peeve when, when the fans run up on you? What is your pet peeve? The one thing that drives you nuts? You know, I don't really have a pet peeve because at the end of the day, I'm grateful that I've been able to be a blessing in so many people's lives for mm -hmm. generations yes. at this point. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so often people pray to have this experience once, but mm -hmm. not only was I on The Cosby Show, which was a hit sitcom award winning yeah. for years, then yeah. The House of Pain, which was on for five plus years, and the myriad of other projects that I've done. So, you know, I'm good, but you know, I'm a girl about my food. Just don't come while I'm eating. Right. right. Any other time, we are good. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> and then I'll just say, listen, let me just finish this real quick, right. and then I got you. Yeah. Right. Did you know that, like, before we even became, like, really cool, because we're mm. very cool, like, right. behind all of this, <laughs> that I, I looked up to you. I don't know if you saw the show where we talked about, like, our TV idols, oh. but, like, I loved uh, you. Yeah. Like, I felt like I was Rudy, and I, t I, I, recanted, I recounted the um, episode when you were, like, when you played football. Uh -huh. Okay. Like, that's <laughs> yes. my favorite. I absolutely <laughs> love that. You. How does that make you feel when you know that people grew up with you and then they still continue to identify with you in that space. I'm grateful. Yeah. I definitely am because um, I've been able to grow up with you and so many people yeah. and I'm everyone's like girl first, girlfriend, Little sister, sister yeah. daughter, you name it. And it creates this familiarity with people mm -hmm. when they approach me and they feel like they, they know me yeah. because they've grown up with me. And that's part of why I love my podcast, Candidly Keisha. Yes, yes. Because it allows people to experience not the character I've played or the, you know, the, the various characters I've played, but me as who I am, mm -hmm. as a woman. Yeah. And it's candid, you know, some right. of them are a little yeah, racist. Right, 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 right. But, but we that's just have true. fun. Right. Like yeah. when I was approached with the opportunity, I'm like, you sure? Mm -hmm. You're gonna let me talk about whatever I want to talk right. about? Right. <laughs> Are you sure about With that? No restraint. No, right. Really? Yeah. So I have so enjoyed it, and mm -hmm. it's been such a uh, just a joy to yeah. be able to do every yeah. week. Well, you recently posted a tribute to uh, Earl Hyman online. Yeah. Um, what was it like working with greats like that? It was amazing, um, and it wasn't until I was sitting in, a, in my sociology class at Spelman College, where I, I, I graduated from, oh, yeah. and we're learning about us, and mm -hmm. they're looking to us as, looking to me as the authority um, on how this show has impacted society. Mm -hmm. And in the midst of it, I have to say, I didn't really understand the magnitude. The impact. And I've yeah. always just been so me that my friends, they're like, you don't know, like, really who you are, do right. you? And I'm like, that's just not who I am. Yeah. I've always, my family has always ingrained in me a sense of humility mm -hmm. and just, 
you know, being Keisha right. outside of it all. But yeah. it's amazing from Dizzy Gillespie to Sammy Davis Jr. to Danny Kaye to the list goes on. Earl Hyman. There's so many people um, who have been a part of it. Lena Horn. Yeah. Right. That I had the opportunity to meet and experience history firsthand. What Absolutely. A blessing. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about Camp Kizzy. Yes. Yes. What motivated you to start this nonprofit? When I was at Spon well, philanthropy give back is something that's just in my DNA. It's mm -hmm. in my blood. I'm from North New Jersey. Okay. A lot of people don't realize that I didn't grow up with a quote unquote silver spoon in my mouth. Um, Good. Look at the girls. Oh, my baby. Yes, yes, yes. That was at the Atlanta Civil and Human Rights Museum. Mm -hmm. It was really important for me to take them there and Beautiful. do that field trip. Um, but because of that, you know, in the black community, give back starts within your family. Mm -hmm. You know, it's taking care of the cousins and yeah. the extended family who need help. But then when I went to Spelman, it grew. I was a Bonner Scholar, which is a community service-based scholarship, and I knew that I wanted to give back, and I knew that children were my interest and my niche. Absolutely. So um, almost nine years ago now, I started Camp Kizzy, and now I have Project James, my boy's counterpart, love and it. I love it. Nice. Awesome. awesome. So Keisha, stay right here. Yes. Because we, we're going to get to know a lot about you, <laughs> and then when we get back, we're going to play a little the game. Hey, so you guys, guys, come on back. It's, it's going down. <laughs> yes, yes. Awesome. So, I just met the director of the. Um... Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are here with our friend, actress Keisha Knight Pulliam. Hi. But of course, before we play our game, we, you know, we here at the Sister Circle always want to talk about you know, the sisters that hold you down. And, yeah. you know, it's been yeah. well documented. Some things have been going on in your life outside of, um, you know, in the media, playing out in the media. But how important is it for you to have your sister friends support you? My village is so deep yeah. and so strong. Yeah, I know it is. And I am so, you know, we share one. Who we're wearing today. Tracy, Tracy Nicole. Nicole <laughs> yes. one of, you know, your sore. Mm -hmm. You went to school with one of my closest girlfriends. Absolutely. But um, my family is awesome. Absolutely. And they are just everything to me. And when you have that sort of groundedness, I've always said, you know, acting is one of the many things that I do. It's not the totality of who I am. Absolutely. And I tell my girls this too at Camp Kizzy. You can't allow the opinions of someone who you don't even know or may right. not even like affect, you know, the people who surround you and who love you and who pour into you. Yeah. Um, that's really what it's about. Yes. If you notice, like, I'm not a big social media person. I do it, but I'm also very private. So there are parts of my life that you just aren't, don't, don't you yeah. just don't know. And I feel like that's healthy. Yeah. It's healthy. Yeah, it is. So the name of this game, is oh, switch it up a little scared. bit. Switch it up. Oh, it's good. It's yeah, good. It's good. Okay. It's good. Yeah. The game is called What Had Happened Was. So okay. what we're going to do, we've been strolling, you know, trolling your Instagram. Yeah. You know. So we grab a couple pictures. <laughs> okay. And then you tell us what had happened, happened was. Got it. Okay. Got so it. first one up is... Okay. Oh. What had happened was. What had happened was. You gotta say it like that. What had happened was. I was <laughs> coming from the women's conference, and um, of course, Ella goes everywhere with me. And we were just having a moment, and she's just the best. Like, we were just laughing and smiling, what we always do. And I love that. That's what had happened. She came with me to the women's conference, and we were on our way home. Yeah. Come on, bag yeah. in the Come background. On, okay. <laughs> she's so I sweet. made that my baby bag. Yeah. I started that whole, like, in the beginning, you get, like, all the baby bag with the compartments. Right. And right. I was like, you know what? I'm going to get this purse. We right. We got everything in there. Wipes it here. Right. Keep moving. Yeah. yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Next. Let's see what the next picture what is. What is the next picture? What do we have? Uh -oh. oh, that was from yesterday. When, oh, well, it's, actually, it's a couple days Ago, so okay. this is when we were doing the drive in Walmart for the okay. no reservations needed dinner. Mm -hmm. So we were dropping off. Camp Kizzy um, donated about, those are our 20 turkeys that we dropped Love off. It. Love in it. addition to other supplies for the dinner. Um, thank you to Spelman College, my yes. alma mater. They always support Camp Kizzy and uh -huh. donated food and Absolutely. amongst other people. So awesome. Edge is so fleet. I know. <laughs> Edge is so fleet. Right. <laughs> you know, I actually do my own hair. Like, everyone always asks that. Right. But nine times out of ten, I do my own hair. And it always right. looks fantastic. Thank, thank, thank you. you. She's going to stick around. But, Keisha, if you want to uh, more information about Keisha's podcast, Camp Kizzy, and her line of seasonings, yeah. check out the Sister Circle Live Facebook page. And the conversation always continues on SisterCircleTV.com. Check it out. Keisha Knight, William, everybody. Yay!